Trivium. I know almost no Trivium. This could be one of their biggest songs. This could be a brand new one. This could be their worst song. Oh, it's somewhere in the middle. So this is from five years ago. Two and a half million views. This is Trivium, the wretchedness inside. Trivium, just one of those bands that I never got into because they were a little too metalcore when I was into new metal back in the day. So let's go. Trivium, the wretchedness inside. First time hearing it. Very first one's from last week. Uh, feels like I leave them there for fun. I leave them there because they're in a different section and I forget. Oh, G Ready, I'll find it. Bizarre, you've got another one down at number eight. No, you don't. You have one that I missed. Gotta come up next. really interesting thing for me with Trivium is I knew of Matt Heafy as a streamer first. So obviously Trivium, giants in the metalcore scene, maybe like the, a lot of people would say that Trivium is the metalcore band, if not in general, but at least for them. Being someone that this wasn't my genre and then knowing him as a streamer first, like and being a music streamer, but then also seeing him do World of Warcraft stuff, Elder Scrolls Online stuff, Magic the Gathering stuff. Um, when I see him up there as a front man of a band, I'm like, oh, it's that guy. And you get that weird, like, it's just my, like that friend of mine that plays nerdy stuff. Like, you get, that's the the little voice in the side of my head when I see him up there. It's kind of like out of place. I wish I had him on, there you go. I should have had him on screen while I was talking about it. He just looks out of place. It's like, oh yeah, it's that guy that streams, that has like a stream room and is like a gear nerd. And then when I see him have like extra accessories on his guitar and stuff, I'm just like imagining him as a gearhead, like trying out all these different things. Like I don't see him as like a a rock metal front man. It's very interesting. All right, let's keep going. All right, Mango. Appreciate you. Wasn't that the drummer of Amon Arath? Is that the same guy? Control. He's got that old school metalcore voice. Almost got stuff. More Shrezzers, Callum? Dude, such a good band. Give me that saxophone. That's quite the bass tone.
Trivium is like a metalhead in his bedroom band. I feel like I've just distinguished between two kinds of heavy music. I feel like there's like dedicated metalhead in his room honing his craft, wearing his battle jacket and taking it really seriously. And then there's like social metal. I feel like there's two very different camps of metal. And when I see like this crowd, I'm like, that is a group of individuals together. I don't know how to tell you. social presence I don't know if I don't know if you're using that in the way that I'm saying in the same way dude look at that crowd going off there Yeah, they've got, and people might laugh at the idea of Metallica being older metal, but they've got like a, that kind of roots feel to them. Trivium, the wretchedness inside. All right. Getting my, uh, my Trivium knowledge up to date. It's, it's so funny how metal can be so similar and feel so different because I, I just don't... If that was on and I was at a party, I'd be like, oh, sick, a heavy song. But if I'm listening to a whole night of metal and metalcore, that is not my kind of metal, and that's so strange. I, it's just a different kind of metal. It's all time, uh, number two all time, very cool. Definitely respect them. Definitely, again, like, I think I like them. In terms, like, if you're thinking of all music, if that was a huge song on the radio, I would be, like, right now, if every time you turn the radio on, it was Trivium, The Wretchedness Inside, I'd be the happiest person in the world. Um, because, like, Go Metal, it's a heavy metal song, but it's just not my kind of metal in general. <laughs> 